What's up guys? Braves baseball back on my television. Super happy, can't wipe the smile off my face. Josh Tomlin, Mike Soroka had some really good work. They got dinged up a little bit, but you could tell they were both working on some things. Specifically Mike Soroka with that uh, slider changeup combination. And boy, does he throw some nasty changeups. And I'm pretty sure Ender and Ciarte had said, thank God he's on my side because those were disgusting against him. And that was really good to see. He was also able to escape a bases loaded jam in the first by striking out Tyler Flowers with a nasty, nasty sinker. Unfortunately for Mike, he will have to listen to Ozzy Albies say that he owns him and is not that good as Ozzy had a typical Ozzy Albies day, two for two, a uh, stolen base and a run scored, energizer bunny stuff with two really good at bats. The first one, he was able to stay on a changeup and take it the other way off the outside corner. Wasn't a bad pitch, better hitting. And the second one, a sinker boring in on him, was able to pull his hands in and uh, find a hole there and set up Marcelo Zuna as he stole second head first slide. Hard in the throat a little bit, but Energizer Bunny stuff working and the helmet flying off means a good thing. And Marcelo Zuna also will have those bragging rights off of Mike Soroka, two for two, uh, two singles and the RBI, but they will not register on the Richter scale. Definitely not, but they will count as line drives in the box score tomorrow morning. And that's all that matters. And it's nice to see Marcelo Zuna get comfortable with that braze across his chest and um, get some things to fall and get that luck to turn around a little bit for him. And then on the other side, Josh Tomlin had some good moments and uh, some not so good moments, better moments for our hitters, but clean first inning with a couple of ground outs and a strikeout. I also really like the hustle on for Ronald Acuna on his first ground out after he took a shin burger that made me, uh, my heart stop for a minute, but he was able to uh, shake it off and get back in the box and hustle, so that was really good to see. And then um, Travis Darno continues his hot spring and summer camp as he took Josh Tomlin deep down the left field line as the veteran tried to sneak a sinker into his kitchen. Travis was having none of that, pulled his hands in nicely, yanked it, the bat drop and the ankle kick, everything going well there. And then for the prospect, uh, angle Christian Pache had a really good night at the plate two for two RBI double after Charlie Culverson had a leadoff single um, was able to Christian Pache was able to stay on a Josh Tomlin slider very nicely almost hit it out of the ballpark and then next at bat virtually the same thing but they placed him on first for situational reasons um, and Unfortunately, he tried to steal second base and appeared to jam his ankle foot into the bag. Looked really bad at first, but he was fortunately able to walk off on his own power despite the cart being brought out. He seemed to be okay, and that's a really good sign considering he had such a good night at the plate off one of our most veteran and seasoned hurlers. That was really nice. Prayers up to you, hope it's not serious. And then on another note, the Braves seem to be transitioning prospect Williams Contreras from behind the plate to right field, possibly in response to having more depth in the outfield with without Nick Marcakis. And he's shown a lot of uh, promise at the plate the, la the first couple of inner squad games. So that is nice to see and just having depth and variety in our position players is going to be a key uh, thing for the 2020 season. So again, a lot of good things on the mound and at the plate, but seeing the Braves on my TV almost brought tears to my eyes. But as always, go Braves, I'll see you tomorrow.